on this computer. Right, okay. All right, good evening. Good evening, everyone. We are joined. It's a very, very, very special week. We're going to be, every night this week, we're going to be doing Eagles chat in celebration of the fact that after nine years on the road and at various venues, we've had more homes than anyone I've ever known in his lives in the history of rugby league. We are joined by Mr. Sheffield Eagles himself, the man himself, the one that's kept it all going through his dedication, his hard work and his dreams. And knowing that one day, that one day on the 23rd of May, we can actually say we're home. Evening, fella. Maybe Mr. Aston, you all right? Good evening, sir. How the devil are you too? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Good. Good. I, um, good. I've had a first question I've had from uh, Simon Brown. He says, ask Toby yeah. about his golf shoes. He looked like John Wayne. <laughs> He's only jealous because I probably beat him today at golf. We had the, uh, the annual Chevrolet Hills Golf Day, which has been uh, a great day. And uh, I give Simon a lesson or two on how to play golf, how to hold the club and, and strike the ball correctly, you know. And uh, he's supposed to be a, 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 a good player. I think he plays quite regular. So uh, when I ain't played for four years to probably show him what it's all about, it's probably a little bit embarrassing for him, but hey <laughs> Are you looking forward to next week? Understatement of the year, really. Yeah, yeah, obviously. It's uh, been a long time, hasn't it? But everybody concerned, you know, the uh, the club, the fans, um, sponsors, everyone involved, you know. Is, uh, and I've spoke about it on a number of cases. And there's been some, uh, some really dark days. But uh, the light at the end of the tunnel is nearly here. We're nearly back. We're nearly landing. Uh, and... Uh, Firmly going to put his roots down for um, forever and a day. Yeah, for a five year deal at the start, but I guarantee it'll be more, won't it? We'll, we don't think we'll be moving again, will we? <laughs> You'd hope not, wouldn't you? There's one <laughs> thing, there's one thing for sure is that uh, we're never going out of Sheffield, that's for certain, you know. And uh, yeah, that has been a tough challenge, as you say. I, I think the the video that Dan Fowler put out the other day was was first class, wasn't it? When you you you, you look at the um, the number of grounds that we played it, and as he alluded to a little bit earlier, Dean, is that uh, we probably <laughs> we are shadow doubt we are the club that's played uh, more we had diff, more um, home grounds than than anybody, more clubs than Jack Nicholas, you know, yeah. so. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a t t tough time, but, uh, you know, as I say, we, we're excited. We, you know, the boys have been training down the old people the last so many years, and, you know, they still rib me about it, still talk to me about it. He sold me the dream three, four years ago, and we're not there yet. But actually, you know, over the last 12 months, you've seen the, um, the structure come into place. And, uh, you know, the boys had a quick look and sneak preview into the, the dressing rooms the other day. You could feel the... Um, the excitement, uh, the, the twinkle in their eyes were there to, you know, find, finally um, be, um, be coming home. Yeah. Have you got your office yet? <laughs> Have you got your office sorted? Oh, look, we've got a changing room. We've got a pitch. We've got a stand for the fans who are the most important people to sit in, uh, which uh, is, 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 is a beautiful facility, there's no doubt about it. The offices and things like that, I'm sure, will come a little bit later. The fit out for the corporate and all the other stuff will, you know, be in place. Uh, hopefully, towards the end of the, the the back end of the season, or definitely the beginning of next. Because corporately, we need to start building that again, don't we? we need to get the sponsors back involved. The fans, you know, they're going to be excited. I, I know they had a test run yesterday in Barlacords. It went really, really well, and people are. You know, spoke about what a great facility it is, and uh, it is a great facility. It is going to be on with Sheffield Eagles. Uh, look, there's there's proper toilets, <laughs> which people have warned about <laughs> the last so many years, and the concessions are first class. And, and look, yes, you're going to have a free drink on us, um, and people might want to know what that is. It's a little bit better than that council pop that you usually have, you know. Uh, so I'll have the drink with us, come down and celebrate the homecoming. But uh, the concessions, the food, uh, the extra time um, bar are going to be running that for us. And, you know, it's going to be the first time that um, we're going to ge generate revenue. So that's a no, that's a first for Sheffield Hills. One of many. Yeah, yeah but next day after the match, you'll be like, oh, that got to count all the extra money and everything like that. And yeah, that'll be a nice yeah. feeling. 
Oh, look, you know, it's exciting for lots of things, you know, and um, just to see the smile on the faces. Yeah. Of the family. It's been, been, been a great long time coming. So everything's in place for us. Um, for, for the, do we have like a plan of what we're going to do? You know, I assume we've got some free game events lined up. Uh, tell us all what we've got to uh, look forward to free game uh, and why we should come down early as well as for the free drink, of course. What, what, um, what we've got to look forward to? No, there's going to be bounce castle space painting. There's going to be juniors on the field playing from the South Yorkshire clubs, Dodder, Hillsborough, Forges, uh, hopefully Durham Valley. The, you know, so yeah. Again, what we've always been based on is the community, and, and you know they're going to be on the field playing. As I said, there's going to be bouncy castles. There's going to be food, drinks, face painting. Uh, you know, it's going to be an exciting. There's going to be singing on there. You know, with how many school uh, music school that. Are a big support of ours, so there's going to be live music on the on the uh, on the um, the courtyard, which is just outside the stadium. The concessions are there, and as I say, look, every penny is always uh, very rewarding for the club. So look, it comes back to the club. So you know, people might say, "Oh, wouldn't you have cheap foods out there?" Look, this is about Sheffield Eagles and and establishing our own and the concessions is, is going to be a fantastic facility for us. You're going to get your beers, lagers, whatever you need, drinks, food, hot food, cold food. You're going to get all sorts. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's going to be, um, it's going to be a great occasion. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And also personally, I've got, a, I've got a little thing on this one because like you're revealing the new mascot. Yes. New mascot for the Eagles. Yeah. Is, is it, is it retirement for, for Dino, Freddie? Yeah, it's got to be. It has to be. It has to be. I'm 53. God, Benny, please, please let it be retirement. It doesn't fit, doesn't fit him anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's correct. I don't need the padding on my stomach anymore. Now, Dino, the, Freddie, the Eagle's going to retire. And the new one, obviously, is going to be renamed. And there's a new costume. And the new Eagle is going to be flying out of the sheds into its new arm. So uh, out with the old, in with the new. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's, you know, it's I'm been sure good. you'll be back at some stage, Dino. You know, you I'll, know I'll be like, do you know, I'm looking forward to going as a fan. I'm just liking, because it's very hard to remember me actually going to an Eagles match and not doing anything. It's one of them where it's like, I always used to be involved doing something, whether we were looking after you as a kit man, looking after everybody and else with, with the clubs and doing the substitutes, whatever it was, it was always something. So me watching a game was very, very rare. So it'd be nice just once to come to a match and just sit down or stand up and just watch a game and have a beer. And I know for a fact now I'll have more than one because I know all money's going to go to the Eagles this time. So it, that's, that's got to be the biggest thing that's ever happened to the club in years because yeah. it's never happened before. So that's a huge, huge thing for the club, surely. A lot, there's lots of clubs that look to be in that position. You know, these no no grounds are fantastic if if it's your own and and if you are going to be generating the revenue. If you're not, then it becomes difficult. You know, so we've never had it. Don Valley, we never got it. Um, you know, and everywhere we've placed, we've never got it. So uh, we're delighted with that. It's, it's certainly something that will help um, the club develop in lots of other ways. And we know the fantastic work that the the, the foundation are doing now, which is you know. Uh, kind of supported by the City Trust, the Council, the Rugby League, Sheffield Eagles. You know, we've got Andrea Dobson in there that's um, a legend in, in her own in her own time. You know, she's the, one of the most capped uh, women's uh, international players. So she's doing a fantastic job. David Butler, Adam Hughes and all, all the trustees are doing a great job. We've set his own women's team up. The two out of two, two wins from two. Massive, you know, they've got 20 odd players down there. The wheelchair, outstanding. I went down and, and had a, um, a knockabout, is what I would say, because <laughs> wow, wow, that is that is physical and it's tough. I, and I went down, it. I went down and watched one of the games, and you go, Wow, when you understand what that is, yeah. it's something special. And then we just, you know, uh, we set the the LD, the LD team up and um. The learning difficulties team, and they come down to training before the first team. And to see the kids down there, you know, we have a bit of a kicking competition, a bit of a crack with them. You know, the the, the dress like where you know, I like the first team dressed, and it's it's great to see everybody. Just you know, it just shows what this this great game is about. It's inclusivity, and you know, we're we're developing that. 
yes, there'll be time to set up a centre of excellence and for, for, for boys, for girls and everything. You know, we'll, we'll do what we've done before. We'll redevelop uh, the community programme, which we are doing, and we're doing a great job, as I say, the foundation. Um, and then we'll, we'll set up a former structure, which will be you know, our centre of excellence for rugby, and that's either code. All I want to do is give a kid a dream, as I've spoke about before. So there's some more exciting times to come. And, oh, this is the first phase of it. The second phase is going to be more development, more building going on there. You know, it's going to become a proper stadium, if you if you like. You know, yes, people say it's only one stand, but what a stand it is. You know, it's 800 seats near enough. Uh, it's, it, you know, you, you sat up quite high. The space between the seats. It's, you know, it's, it's fantastic. The view is fantastic. So, you know, there's some exciting years ahead for um, for the club, which, as I say, the last nine is um, has been tough, but uh, it's certainly been worth it. The sad thing is, as, as always, is that there's going to be people um, missing on, on Monday. The people, you know, your people, you talk about people like Ian Annis that's been in it from, yeah. from minute one as a director and was an ins a real instrumental part of the, the negotiations in the early parts of this new stadium. And he sadly passed away, there's, you know, father in law George. And then there's all the fans and, and all that. So there's people that haven't got to the, this point. And, you know, this, this Monday will be um, special for everybody. I'm filling up here. I am. I'm really. No, that crying, you know? no I'm how, are, how are ticket sales going for it? We, we've been pushing it really hard. Are we looking at a good crowd? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Uh, you know, it's, 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 there's people. Go, and I think the test run yesterday. Uh, you know, the, the feedback that you're seeing on on some of the social media things. What a great facility and that. So I think people will be intrigued, uh, and I think that you know the to showcase it on on Premier Sports. Uh, it'd be great, you know, that people will see uh, what is happening down here. The, the women's, the wheelchair, the, the, the learning difficulties are going to be presented to, to, to everybody so everybody can see uh, the inclusivity of the club. Uh, but, yeah, I think things are going well. And I, I don't believe it's just for a free beer. I think it's for a, to come down and, and see the club actually back at, in and home in Sheffield. And the interest has, has, has been uh, significant. So, yeah. We're looking for a, a, a real uh, party atmosphere. Uh, I look, um, we need to do what we've got to do as a team, and we need to get a performance. Is uh, is you know is the the most important thing for me is we need to get a performance that we can all be immensely proud of. And we spoke, you know, we've had a couple of tough weeks. We've played late two weeks on the bounce, and you know what? The second week in the semi final of the cup, the boys were outstanding. You know, to, to push a team like uh, who's invested the money they've invested, um, the full time, they've got 12 overseas players, you know, and on and on and on. And uh, to push them into the final 10 minutes when you're only running with one sub, because the other three can go back on. Uh, and, and, you know, there were a couple of tries that were a bit dodgy as far as I'm concerned. And, but that was a massive credit to the boys. And look, I know we're all disappointed, and nobody more so than, than me yesterday is that we've got to understand the amount of juice that, that them two weeks against Lee took out of us. And certainly the, the epic performance in the semi-final last week, which we were, we were so close. So yeah. I, I realised that there might be a chance that could happen yesterday, and, and it did. Uh, sometimes you need a smack in the chops, re, readdress yourself, reset yourself, and, um, and come back even stronger. And, you know, we're playing against a, a team that hit the bit of form yesterday, so it should be an enthralling encounter and one that, you know, hopefully we'll have a couple of plays back for as well and then we can put the performance that everybody's going to be really, really proud of. Right. Um, got loads of questions here. This is Every time you come on, we, we always get loads and loads of questions, which is fantastic. Uh, first one we've got, Michael White. He's asked about five or six questions as Michael tonight. Uh, if you could strengthen in one position, what would it be? Uh, evening, Michael. Um, <laughs> look, the, I'm delighted with lots of them. We, we're running out of numbers. We're picking up injuries. You know, Bailey, Bailey Lowe's going to, you know, probably not while July. Kirk is on the road to recovery. Goods, he came back yesterday. So, look, we're really, really short. And obviously, Liam Johnson going. So, you know, you'd look at the back row sort of position where we'd want to be strengthening a little bit. 
you know, Martin really left as well. So there's a couple of opportunities that we'd like to strengthen probably in 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 the in the forwards, certainly the, the back row and potentially the, the front row as well. Um, you know, backs were quite covered. We we um Tom and and um, and obviously QLT because he can play a number of positions as well. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, we'd would like probably a back row, but like anything, that everything's very difficult at the moment. There's not a lot of players out there, and there's not a lot of people that want to help each other. So it's it's tough market. I, I would hope that I'd be a little bit. Um, we could have been added already, but uh, it's not to be. We'll keep working hard. We'll keep trying to get that. But you know what? If it doesn't happen, we'll go what we've got as we always do, and we'll still be um, like we've been over the last sort of you know few months. Because I've got to say is this this group's a, a pleasure to coach, and um, you know you never want to break that. How many times have you asked? Go on, go on, Mark. You no, ask him. Say, Q- on, QLT originally came for a couple of weeks, but he's still here. Is he here for the year, or is it just an, an ongoing thing? It's a rolling thing. They can pull him back, just like you know Tom Holmes. They can both be pulled back to the parent clubs. Uh, Keith, they're going really well at the moment, so they're quite happy. If they pick up a couple of injuries, there's an opportunity. Them. There might be a, uh, a chance that they're taking back, same as same as Tom, but. Both clubs, particularly Featherson, have strengthened, haven't they? They brought in John Ford and people like that. So all it does is, yeah. is Tom a little bit down. And they've certainly added to us, you know, to, um, Tom, quality player, QLT. Uh, look, he gets a little bit older, doesn't he? Catching me up, but uh, he can still he can still play. And he's, yeah, I've got to say, and I've said it millions of times, is I've never known Q coming to a uh, to a club session, playing, training. Uh, in a downbeat mood, he's always happy. He's always got a smile on his face. He's always great around the boys, and I think he's been great for us. Go well, on, Mark. You've got a question for him, haven't you? Because you've asked well, it in the face. I, I put a, I put a question in half in jest. Um, <laughs> are we are we getting a third kit this year? Because we've had one the last few years, and I didn't know if we were planning a special kit for the homecoming. Anything? Uh, anything uh, oh. to tell us? Oh. I think there might be. I think there might be a chance that there's a third kid out there. Uh, again, um, I'm not sure that we played at home. We're coming home. Our colours are red and gold. We yeah. must play in. We must play in. Uh, for me, we must play in as as, as home strip this weekend. But uh, I'm not saying there won't be a summer bath shirt coming. Could be a possibility. Yeah. I do yeah. like that uh, that green one you've got above there. Uh, Number two, Scotty Turner. Me, yeah, I like that. This, this was the one where uh, was it? Was it Missy? Did the, Missy, uh, yeah. the, the sleeve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. class, class, yeah. absolute great, class. Great. What Missy yeah, did yeah. on that. Yeah. But look, we're red and gold with Sheffield thrown and through, and I think it'd be fitting yeah. uh, to me that we 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 might start on um, on Monday in, in that colour. Yeah, yeah, we've got we've yeah. had a few ideas for future kits, haven't we, mate? We've been asking about future kits with the cup for the. Uh, uh, we 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 were we were going to say that 2024 for the anniversary do a remake even if it's for the away colours a it's remake of bash. the first solar thin kit you know the white one with the design at the top we're just saying something like that for an away or third I think it's selling the in the in the hundreds the the but, which uh, one the, sorry the, the very first kit the very first eighty four the very kit. first kit the old one's an eighty four kit yeah. Look. Yeah, look, there's some there's some milestones coming up, isn't there? You know, next year, um, next year is obviously Dino. You're wearing the shirt tonight there, yeah. which is DP's Daryl Powell shirt that uh, we won the um, the uh, go on tell me Dino the the Premier Division. Final. It's thirty years this month that we won the Division Two title and the Division Two Premiership in the same in in uh, 20, 30 years ago. 30 well, years ago. Look, next year is going to be the, the 25 years from Wembley, isn't it? So there should be some like the full Monty's been re released, isn't it? That's an interesting. Oh. And then oh, don't forget. Oh, oh, don't do that to me. No, no, uh, no. I've got yeah, both of them so, shirts. I've got both of them. Don't do that yeah. to me. And then, and then obviously, the year after 2024 Four is years. the 40th year, which, Dean, you know, I'll just pull that shirt out you showed me earlier, oh, which God. is probably. I, I don't know if it was my first set of shirts, that, but it was the first kit yeah, I ever played in. Purple one. Yeah, yeah, that was the first set. I think that was 90, uh, 85. 
that was the oh number seven. You never know; it could have been mine. The uh, that was the first shirt I played in. So I think yes, without a shadow of a 2024, there should be a flashback or a, 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 an edited shirt or a, what do they call them these days? They call them the. Um, yeah. Retro, 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 retro rounds, yeah. Legacy, there's all kinds of words yeah. that you use. Oh, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, I think that's something that we, we seriously need to look at. And I, I look, I'm delighted that um, my catkin has, has come on, on board as the um, the retail consultant. And Mike's obviously not only a, a fan of Sheffield Eagles, but he's been out heavily involved in the years uh, with kit suppliers and, and done that. So, you know, his, his experience and his knowledge in and around all this sort of stuff is, is going to be invaluable. So, you know, watch out. The, the exciting news coming up over the, the next period on where we're going with all the, the kits and the supplies and everything, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, we've been asked, we've already asked a few of these questions here on here anyway. Uh, Jake Rooney's got a good one here. How much are you and the players' staff looking forward to next week? Oh, well, like I said a little bit earlier, Steve Marriott, who's, who's the operations director of the stadium, Scarborough Developments, has, has been outstanding. He actually gave the boys a sneak preview into the changing rooms the other day. And not only is it a changing room, there's, there's a warm up room attached to our changing room. So, and it's got AstroTurf in there. So, part of our warm up can be done in there. And it's going to be where we can have his meetings, and the briefings before trip, before the games and all that. So I think, yeah, I think, I think the excitement, is, as I said, is, is, is building. Um, you know, will we, will we uh, get used to them changing rooms before next Monday? Will it be the first time we're in them changing rooms next Monday? I, I don't know the answer to that, but yeah, Look, there's there's a physio home, there's a medical room, there's all the things that <laughs> you dream about. There's there's the, the, the automatic doors that go out onto the pitch, and then you know I say it's, it's just so exciting, and and the boys are excited. Mm. Uh, the chomping at the bit. Um, we're back. We're we're nesting, if that's what they call it for an eagle. Uh, or the eagles nest. It was called that one day. Do you know our? Um, you know, so yeah, I, th I think that they are getting really exciting. I think as yeah. the week progresses, they'll get more excited. We've yeah. obviously got to wait uh, seven days. Uh, it's not a, it's not a Sunday, so it's a Monday. So that's a bit different for us. We'll adjust training accordingly. And then, as I say, um, there's going to be some fireworks down there that night. Yeah. Well, have you got your spot in the stand now? Because we all know that you're going to be sat. If it's if I know you too well, we all we are stand for you watching the game. Are you going to be sitting in the stand where you, where you walkie talkie telling Keith and everything from across the stand? Yeah, I, uh, my, <laughs> my, my, I'll certainly be stood in that stand in case it rains, you know, it's got a roof. Man, I've had that for a very long time, obviously. So, yeah, uh, uh, as long as there's enough space, as long as there's enough seats for me to get in, you know, if it's in demand, they'll kick me out, all this stuff. So, yeah, yeah I, know, I know there's a bit of a platform where I can sit and the filming can be done and things like that. So, yeah, I've got my earmark, I've got it earmarked where I want to be. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that, but uh, yeah. yeah, it'll be in the middle with the fans. I'll be in with the, yeah. you know, the, the the people that matter the most. Uh, David Jones got a great idea for the fundraiser. He says, "When are you going to announce the charity Dads versus Lads game, where you, Paul Broadbent, Anthony Farrell, Nick Alafi, and QLT all get your boots on to play against your boys? It'll be a good fundraiser." I come have a very small pitch. <laughs> well, well, they, they won't come through us but they might go around us that's the thing with us they won't outsmart us but they might be quicker than us but if we can play on a probably a pitch no wider than 10 metres and, and probably no longer than 20 I think we've got a chance <laughs> but hey I like the idea there's something to fetch up maybe maybe it's something we could do you know I, I think that it's nice isn't it you know and I know um these mums coming over in, in, in July, Nick, uh, and hopefully uh, she's going to get to some games as well. So maybe we can throw the, the women in as well, hey, everybody. Katie has just said a wonderful thing in this chat room. She just said, I can't thank you enough for sticking with the club, Tubby. It's a massive part of my life and I'd be lost without the Eagles. And I think that says a lot from everybody. And Jane Christopher says, I'll pay to see that as well. <laughs> I need to have a quick word with Katie, actually, because I always believed I were number one. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a little sore point here with you, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Pete, uh, and I'm going to have to have serious words with you because I'm reading and I've been told that now I've been passed by uh, a younger, probably quicker, probably um, had a similar sort of body to what I had when I played, yeah. uh, young Mr. Thackeray. So, uh, we're going to be having words with me. Oh, <laughs> oh, don't, because me and this gentleman on the on air, we've had a right. De- that's been the biggest debate ever because we went through oh, your time, yeah. Eagles team, and we it's, went, it's, what do we do yeah. it? We we were like, what, what do we do here? Do we put Chubby in a seven or what? Thanks. It was the biggest debate I've ever known, ever in the history of the Eagles. It to, went sum, a- to sum it up, to sum it up, we basically said, is Tax the greatest player to ever play for the club? And if he yeah. isn't, who is? Yeah. Um, and then, and then we were all struggling. <laughs> we were all struggled beyond that. You can, you, you, obviously, you can just say your Menzies and your Misses and your QLTs and all that, but you can't compare Menzies with a with a halfback. A Menzies, you know, he's never made a halfback pass ever. But um, it was a great debate we had about picking the best, you know, the best home and the best overseas thirteen we could we could find. Oh God, don't me, me. Oh, there's been some outstanding players. Oh, Cliffy Lyons, Jesus, wow. You know, Bruce Maguire. Mark Guy, Jesus, you know, this son, Jack, Gary Jack, a Gary named Jack, Golden Boot, uh, we've had some, and to out in the car, obviously. So, Jeff Hardy was a legend, you know. There's, there's been so many overseas great players, but there's been so many players developed from within your Powell's, your Broadbench, your Longs, and all that. And you know what? Yeah, uh, Thackeray has been outstanding for, for this club. Um, he's, uh, you know what? He's got a, he's got a little bit better. He's, he's, he's matured. He's, um, He's, uh, he's certainly become a leader on the field. He's, you know, he's been he's, he's been a very you know good, easy choice as a captain. So uh, yeah, I, th- I think he's got better as, as Stacks, and um, you know, he's uh, he's certainly uh, he's certainly got plenty to give this club, and 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 and, and still will. So uh, whether it be oh, it's everybody's, I love debates. Everybody's got their own sort of. Um, view on it and that's what's healthy you know doesn't mean that it's going to offend anybody except for me Katie <laughs> um but no it doesn't matter it's it's, it's yeah. one club it's, it's it's you know the the editors numbers and things like that are very important to us now and I think again the work that the media team are doing down there you Dan your Alex you, um, yeah. go on Lewis and all them they're doing a fantastic, you know, them things that they're doing in the changing rooms, the, the Chris Wellams thing, Jesus. If you didn't get a lump on your throat that day and, and your Kadeem's things and all oh, these things. Kadeem was, the yeah. Kadeem one got me, that was yeah. really meant a lot, that that was all amazing. Uh, and, and, and that's that's what we're here for, so am I bothered about who is the best player? Nah, you know, who's the best team and all that? No, I'm interested in... Uh, you know, being the best club that we possibly can be, giving people yeah. different opportunities, and you know, we've given people chances to play at Wembley, playing finals. Uh, we've gone back to back champions. We've yeah. played in the Middle Ages. You know, we've been at the thick of all that. We've been in finals, semi-finals. Uh, but we give kids dreams. We give kids people opportunities. You know, your Broadbench, your Millers, your your Burns has played uh, at Wembley. Wow, uh, and Kadeem's Play for his own town club, so the special memories, mm-hmm. and that's what we're here for is to, to give people memories. Uh, the fans, uh, the sponsors, and and again, I love the nine years that we've been outside the city. There's some influential sponsors that stuck with us, didn't there? Your OSI, your, your GRI, because without some of these sponsors, we won't be having this conversation, you know. Mm-hmm. They've kept us alive because hey, we've been paying. Money to play at other venues, and and there haven't been a lot of income either. So it's, it's you know there's a lot of people uh, to be to be thanked, and and uh, the directors that are here now, and where they're taking this club. What about the directors that um, aren't with us? Oh, sorry, aren't still directors? You know the chairman, Mr. Swire. John Whale and people like that, you know, all these people have, 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 have had a, a massive part to play in this club's development, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. 
when is the book being written for this? When because it's like the rise, the fall, and the rise again of the Eagles. Where's this gonna be? They did the against the all odds in the 90s. We did that for the first 10 years. Yeah. If if you could write a book for the last 20 odd years, sit they mean told that the Eagles were merging with Chef Wheeldersfield, and then all of a sudden you start again with about three weeks' notice. Built aside from that, if somebody tells me a better, better story for a film, I'll say no way. To build it from nothing, to get two grand back-to-back grand final wins, Wembley and everything, and not have a home for nine years, I'd love to hear another story that beats this one. So we can't call it the full Monty, can we? No. <laughs> we need to come up with something, an alternative. But it'd be amazing if just somebody out there's yeah. got to do it. Somebody out there's got to. Uh, but uh, no, I think, um, oh, Can Michael, I, oh, sorry, go on. I, do, I just, you know, I know, yeah, I've just said we've been out on a golf day today, which is, you know, again, corporate people spending money with a club up at work. Like, it's been a fantastic day. I've just got to mention the, the, the great work that Mark Hannigan. Natasha's doing with the events. We had a, a great World Cup dinner on, um, oh, yeah, on yeah. Thursday at the OAC. And wow, I, I was blown away. There were 200 odd people there. Uh, the venue was fantastic. The food, the, the atmosphere. I've got to say, Jason Robinson was absolutely outstanding. People have the opportunity to have the picture taken with. Uh, the World Cup, the three, the wheelchair, the women's uh, and the men's. And, you know, again, kind of sponsored by GRI, another a sponsor that's been with us a lot of years who backed the event. And, you know, we've made a few quid, <laughs> which is always <laughs> nice today, last Thursday. So, you know, there's, there's again, lots of good work going behind the, the scenes that are a little bit unnoticed. And look, it's been a tough gig, you know, for people. Marco's been thrown into the deep end and he's coming out the, the other end now. Natasha's been thrown in, but they're, they're doing well. Yeah. I'm not kicking much out of them. They're, they're going in the right sort of direction. Yeah. How many times did you mention Wembley 98 to Jason last week then? Only once when I got upstairs. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed disappoint with Pete Emmett. Actually, if I'm honest, I don't think he'd give him enough. You know, I think he should have given him a little bit more. Uh, but... <laughs> I've got to say, when you listen to a blog like uh, Jason, it was uh, they were emotion, they were inspirational, mm-hmm. they were the full bag of machines out there. You know, just a normal guy that's come from nowhere and, and had a, a tough upbringing, but he achieved what he achieved, and it just shows you what's possible. You know, anything's possible uh, if you're a believer and, and you can get through anything, and it's your choice what you do with it, and that's. There's some decent, some really strong messages come out of Jason, and you know we thank the World Cup for for uh, for bringing him to the city, and you know again just major events coming to the city. The Rugby League World Cup is coming to the Steel City, first time ever. England are going to be playing Greece. Yes, a lot of people won't be happy it's at Bramall Line. I'm happy it's in Sheffield, and that's the most important thing. That's never happened before. And hopefully that's the start of something that can become a, uh, a consistent thing for us. And all of them people that's going to be at Bramall Lane, can we get them down to the home of Sheffield Eagles, the yeah. OLP? Yeah, I'm coming. Even oh, though I'm, I'm a Wen- it, me and Mark, even though we're Wednesday, it's, we're coming because it's it's eager. It never, it's rugby league. It never bothered me having to watch us at Bramall Lane, being even though we're Wednesday. It never bothered yeah. me in the slightest. Well, I've even been on the pitch at Bramall Lane. It was on Scrum Down in 1989 when a certain person not a million miles away came up with the man of the match when we beat Widnes 31-6 and me, in my stupidest oh. ways, decided to grab yeah. this complete stranger and chair him off the pitch. Yeah, that didn't make Scrum Down, but I remember that because it bloody hurt uh, my shoulder. <laughs> tell you what, they were the, one of the best trophies that you ever got them. They were cast iron. They were like, yeah. this is the Stones bitter trophy. Uh, well, sensational. Yeah. Making me sound old, What year was that? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. October eight. I think October eight. Eighty nine. Because I remember Gary saying to me day before, uh, "I've got four hundred programs here for you to sell." I went, "Okay," and I just he dumped me outside Bramall Lane, and I was just selling them to everybody. So that was just, that's just my. Just another thing. R and B's. R and B's afterwards was the main place. I remember that. Ruth, Ruth and Barry. Wow. Oh. <laughs> special times. Special times on Scotland Street. 
you know what? And we're talking, it's funny, we're talking about coming home and that and the volunteers. I've got Denise back out of her house and get it. She's coming back down to get. So I expect Denise pestering you next week for the golden gamble, you know, she's like, the volunteers are prepping up and there's a lot of people like, you know, that Steve's been up at the golf day today. They've done a fantastic job for us. The volunteers haven't got to be forgotten. They, they're, they're massive to this club. Always have been, always will be. But I've, I've rolled Denise back out. She's coming back. She's going to be shouting, come and get it. You go and gamble. <laughs> so make sure you fetch a few quid, will you? Oh, well, I've got to fetch a few quid. I offer, I offer a couple of shirts and stuff like that. So I'm bringing quite a few quid and everything that day. Well, so, I was doing the shirts for sale and everything on Monday, weren't they? Because again, a few people have asked. Yeah, look, we've we've got all the the, the new shirts home and away. Uh, we need somewhere to sell it. Obviously, there's no units available yet for us, so uh, we we might have a bit of a pop up or something where people can buy stuff. So yeah, that'll be part of it. We, you know, we've got loads of gear that that you know are going at really good prices to get to get rid of. Uh, and and they they should be down on Monday as well, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, Mark's there's some amazing comments now in our chat room. Katie Pete saying Denise, aka Rottweiler, looking forward to seeing her. Uh, Steve Dalton says it was an amazing evening last week. Mark Hannigan, thanks, Tubbs. We can't do what we do without without your enthusiasm and passion, for which trickles down to us all. Can't wait to see the club home on Monday. And Tash has just said, did he just say that we are doing well? Ha ha, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, it was your inspiration last year that made, convinced us to like to sponsor a player this year. So Eagles chat, we, were, we it was, it was, I feel honoured that I'm sponsoring a player this year. Because no one else at Eagles has ever come in, come me, convinced me to sponsor anything before. But I went, you know what? My streaming's doing well. It's about time Eagles chat sponsored a player. And the, uh, uh, why not? Why not? It's best way we can help yourself out that time. Um, what have we got? I think, uh, are Dicko Crimes and Boyer are available for selection yet? Says Katie Pete. Ah, uh, Dicko Crimes and Boyer, yeah. Look, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, you know, fingers crossed with Kirk as well. Hopefully, we'll have a number of them back. Dicko was just not right for the weekend, we missed him. Crimes has been great, you know, Bass has been keeping him out. We'll have a look at what goes on this week. Uh, and Bauer, look, the, you know, he's, he's been pushed into the, the middle, haven't he? And he's, he's not done a bad job. So, fingers crossed. Um, fingers crossed they, sh they should all be yeah. available. Yeah. Come on, Mark, you've got some questions, surely. Oh, just, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. No, just a, just a couple of things. I was just going to say about the injuries. You've already covered the injuries. We were saying about facts yesterday. Yeah, I agree. We just got beat up a little bit, didn't we? But the efforts oh. at Lee, I was, I, was at, I was at both. But the efforts at Lee, the second one, I didn't get the Friday night because of Friday nights, but the effort in the second game at Lee, was, it was absolutely amazing. We did go there thinking this could get a bit ugly, but to still be in it, an hour in, and then needing to bring the centre into the wing to out jump our prop to score. Yeah, that got around. I thought the way we approached the game was brilliant. We pulled all their forwards side to side. You know, we really got them moving, which we did notice. And uh, no errors. And every error they made, we jumped all over. And the, 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 the encouragement from that, from that showing was, was fantastic. And I just wanted to praise it because um, a lot of people stood up. I mean, yeah, three away games in a row. Facts, as we know, always a big physical team, strong at home, and they've won now six on the bounce, so they're in form. You know, it, it, it was what it was, but we've now got that run of home games where I think we can put some solid results down. Oh, well, the, the big thing against Lee was uh, the boys executed the plan, and, and that's what we spoke about. And we got a lot of confidence out of the week before. You know, we knew we could challenge them and ask them the questions. In the DNA of this team is work ethic and 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 uh, the the effort and the commitment and the attitude is 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 there for everybody to see. Uh, the question mark over the try, the the kick. Uh, if I were a betting man, which obviously I'm not because I can't, uh, I'd have said he were offside when he scored that try when he kicked it. Uh, the try in the corner, how that referee believed that that ball got down when Jason Bass came up with it on the middle of his chest, amazes me. 
he must be able to push balls through the body now and get it to the ground. Uh, and then there were an interception, wasn't it? And for 70, you know, it was 70 minutes um, where we were 12-12. You know, we were a little, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought we had a, an opportunity in the far left corner to score a try, a 3v2, and, and the ball didn't quite go to the right person or it bounced off one of the players. If we have scored that try, that would have made it 16-6. And I think we've got them then. And the key message is all about opportunities and being clinical in big games. And that undid us in that game because they're always going to get a bit of momentum. They're always going to get something that sticks for them. And I think that might have just pushed them a little bit. Uh, they'd have panicked a little bit more, uh, maybe got a bit more agitated and come up with more errors. So, yeah, we took a lot of confidence out of that. Uh, you know, the, the the feedback from the people at Leeds that we were probably the best team they played against this season, how we moved the ball and what football we played. Well, who entertains? I want to entertain. That's the game. I enjoy watching the boys do the things that we did. Regarding the game yesterday, uh, I thought it was... Um, there were things happened early on in the game where players were take, getting taken out off the ball and things like that. And, and again, I think the control of that game was lost. We got frustrated. We lost his, lost his composure. And the row was a bit. So I think, you know, that was a lesson to be learned. But uh, I was a little bit disappointed with, with yesterday. But I've got to say this to your hand on heart. I knew it was coming. I knew it could happen to us especially with um, the work that they did the week before. 35 minutes, we won substitution against a full-time a team that are heading for Super League or potentially going to be going to Super League, took its toll on us. And I thought that was evident yesterday. I thought we looked really flat uh, and, and, and lethargic, uh, which is not our normal self. But again... We had opportunities. We had three or four opportunities that we didn't nail and they come back and bite you. And that's the learning curve and that's the next part of our development. Though We've got to become ruthless. We've got to become clinical. And when them points come, we've got to absolutely nail them to the cross because the doubt that it puts in opposition then uh, means it's possible. And, and, you know, I'm a believer when people say, how do you coach for this team? Well, we coach to win. I don't know a coach that doesn't. And I said two weeks ago when we played Lee, leading up to the semi-final of the week, everything's possible. I'm a believer. I believe in you. Go out and you get your just rewards by the work ethic and your attitude and your commitment to each other. And as I said, it's in our DNA, the work out for each other. They're a real pleasure to coach and and. You know, people said to me <laughs> on the interviews after the game, you look like you, you've got a smile on your face, you're happy again. Well, yeah, I am. I am. I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> you know, the, the not only has the nine years been tough on the road, some of the last few years have been tough uh, on the training paddock for us, you know, with, with um, you know, sappers and, and the culture wasn't quite right at times. So, uh, you know, we're on that. And I, I go back to when we were successful. 2011, 12, 13, it was easy. Coaching was easy because we had people that self-managed, we had people that self-disciplined. We had characters in that group that would, um, anybody stepped out of line, they'd give them a slap around the lug, you know, you're missing telepapas. And that, it was easy for us as coaches. And, and again, we're a little bit like that now. Yeah, we're not the finished article. We're starting the process again of building something over the next so many years, but we started it. And this year is the start of the build. And, you know, it excites me. Um, we need to add to over the over the next year, the years. Some of these kids are signed two-year deals. Um, the the young enough to be together for the next five, six, seven years. We all know what Gary Edgerton did in the early days. We're giving people like myself, Bob Robin, Dale Long, uh, Darrell, all these people, uh, Matty Crowders, uh, 
you know, give all these people opportunities and they paid you back in what they did. So we know how to build a team. We've done it once, twice, three times. We'll do it again. And it gets harder because there's not as many. And, and people are walking away from the game because of what's happened over the last couple of years. And, and the money in the game now is not there, as we know. Um, so, yeah, people are walking away from That's a concern. But, you know, we're full system, you know, full throttle, if you like, uh, going forward. And uh, we're out there, we're looking. I know the players that we want. I know the players that will take us to that next level. And uh, we're going to try and get them. <coughs> I think one of uh, one of your greatest skills as a coach, as well as obviously all the on-field stuff, and um, I'm going to praise you here, so here we go. Oh, I think you. one of your greatest talents is finding a nugget and turning it into a diamond. Now, the best example of picking up a player from nowhere and making him a star is this one right here. Playing for Dewsbury Reserves, picked him out of nowhere. I assume you'd had, it, you'd, you'd had your eye on him for ages, but when we first got him... He couldn't catch a cold and he couldn't pass a far. And uh, first game he played, we were friendly. And we, we, were, we were just thinking, I think he dropped the first two eye balls. And we're all looking at each other thinking, oh, what have we got here? And then two years later, it stopped scoring division. So what do we know? But I think um, I, I see a few of the, I, I see a few potential diamonds in the squad right now who could really turn into, you know, stars at this level, definitely. I, I'll go back a little bit further than Scotty, actually. Andy Pointer. That came yeah. out of Leeds, Leeds Rhinos, a, a system and I. I remember his debut. Uh, he dropped the first eye kick. He dropped the second eye kick. And I thought, oh dear, we're going to have to do something here. He dropped the third eye kick. And I went, get him off. Boom. Uh, took him off, sat him down. Sorry, sorry. Relax. Boom. Away you go. The week after, I put him back in the team. Um, why wouldn't I? You know, he's got potential, he's got, you know, we're here to develop players, that's what we do. And uh, just because he drops a ball or two, his nerves and things like that, it happens. Debuts, it's either good or it ain't, you know. And I think it's how you manage people. And, but of course, we look for, for the, yeah. look, of course, you look at Jack Harrison, where did Jack Harrison come? Mitchell Stringer, where did they come from? That I get that buzz from that. That's what I, I, I love. People doubt people can become uh, professional believe players. We've done it. Jack Howison was a student, wasn't he? He was at Allen University. He was a typical student, drunk a gallon of beer a night and had pie and peas and chips and McDonald's, Kentucky, whatever he had, you know. He wasn't in the best shape. Credit to him. He turned that. He made himself into an athlete that could play professional believe. Uh, and he went on to become our captain and, and a leader of uh, a very successful team. So, yeah, we'll look for them people. And why wouldn't we? we you know, we've, we've not got masses of money and, and, and that don't interest me. It interests me, the kid, Mitchell Stringer, playing at Rotherham, whatever it was, Rotherham, a rugby league team and, and oh, yeah. giving us the opportunity and, yeah. and all that. So, you know, Rob Warrensey, you talk about Rob Warrensey, came out of Cass, you know, so... They're the things that give me the fix that I need. Yeah. Uh, and you people like your Eddie Batties and all that, they're the players yeah, because they're hungry to develop. Corey, mm. my lad, you know, how they progressed on. So Andy Raleigh, John, Je God, you could write a book on it, you know what I mean, about these sort of guys. Yeah. It's, it's a two-way thing. They've got to be willing to invest time and we've got to be willing to invest time. And there's going to be, there's going to be good times. There's going to be bad times, as you know. We're going to have to kick them. We're going to have to... But that is management. That is what we are here to do. Uh, and, you know, an happy player, a player that believes oh, he's got a word, is a player that you'll get the best out of. And, and uh, if, if we're getting the best out of our players, the best that they can possibly be, that, that means we're doing a decent enough job. So... Yeah, I enjoy that, uh, and we enjoy that as a club, and, uh, you know, your Burnses and, and your Ryan Millers and all that sort of thing. Um, it's been a pleasure. You see Blake Broadbent, where he was going and where he is now, you know. Tyler Dickinson, what, 125 kgs when he comes into this uh, this environment, and now he's at 111, you know, and he's flying, he's playing 80 minutes football. God, that's good. That's enjoyable.
I remember, and when you're saying about stories about people missing eyeballs and everything, I've got a great story. I remember somebody missing conversions. I think it was 88 <laughs> season, 89. Every supporter wanted him dropped. Everybody says, get rid of him. He's absolutely hopeless. Kept missing conversion, conversion, yeah. conversion after the first one. And then he turned up by making 63 games in a row and he didn't miss a thing. And all of a sudden, he turned into one of the greatest people I've ever met in my life. And he's sat right here right now. So if anybody gone about that, I remember Mark being booed off the off the pitch because he kept missing kicks. <laughs> oh, honestly, uh, there's a crazy start here. We played Fulham in Fulham, I guess. Roy Rafferty drops out before the game. And Gary says, who's kicking then? Tubbs, decent out there. And practice. And I swear down, I went out and practice. 30 metres out, 30 meters out in front of the sticks. I kicked out five or six. I think I might have got one in front of the sticks. <laughs> I had an absolute nightmare. And, uh, and yeah... You know, it was just one of them. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, the experience of that sort of thing goes, look, you don't mean to miss. It's all about technique. It's all about confidence. And, and look, I, I go back to a great player we had, Don Brambini. Frustrated the life out of me because what a great player he was. Yeah. But how he beat himself up when he missed the kick were well, crazy. And if you're kicking it from the touchline, look, if you get it, it's a bone out. The ones that you've got to nail is the ones around the post. I were hopeless. I were absolutely hopeless. Uh, but I'm not sure giving me a, in the warm before the game and telling me that I'm kicking today was the best thing that uh, Mr. Etherton probably ever did. Yeah. Oh, it might be in the long run, but yeah. it was certainly an eye-opener for me. Yeah, that, that was a big mitre balls. We're not on about these little tiny things that we play with now. We're on about the big did, mitre. Not. You know, I'm not that old. It didn't have laces in it. No, it no, no, but remember the multiplex. That, you know? Remember the big mitres, multiplexes, when you had to put hands round it like that. But now they've got this little tiny thing in one hand. But, but don't forget, I just want to hear for Simon Brown when he mentions my shoes. Uh, I showed him how to kick as well. <laughs> oh. um, Katie's, got, uh, Katie's got, are we re-signing a lot of the boys again next year as there's a lot of them only signed on for a year? Oh, there's quite a lot that are on, on, on a couple of years, isn't there? A lot of the pack, your tilers, your... your um, uh, Dougies, the Alafees, um, your um, Farrells, your Hodgson's, the Woods. Uh, there's quite a lot of them, Kirks, and, and all these are, are on a couple of years, you know. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's work to be done. There's no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, over the next, uh, when I get, when, I, when we get home and I can put my slippers on and put my pipe in my mouth, I'll start planning that next phase of of, of, of recruitment, but uh, you know, there's a couple of things this week that need nailing down. Um, but after Monday, it'll be all systems go on, on the recruitment for for 2023. As we all know, it's another big year for the club. And uh, I've seen somewhere today, I think Mike was trying to get a bit of a 25 year reunion going. So uh, you know, I'd love to have a dinner next year down at the OAC to to, uh, to mark the, the 25 years since that um, that little special moment. I forgot yeah. what it was. That, yeah. uh, that, that, I think that, you, that, you're that. injuring yourself with a barbecue. That is 25 years, isn't it? Is, is, it the, is it the barbecue or did you put your hand through a glass window? Uh, well, no, I slept. You slept, yeah, that's it. It's 25 yeah. years since you slept. <laughs> DIY, <laughs> DIY, DIY injury. <laughs> I can't believe it. The Lance Todd curse, as they called it. Uh, yeah. But I'll let this gentleman believe me, Mr. Webster, say how much you thank you so much for tonight. Because what can I say? Mark's been everywhere for the last nine years. He's the one that's done the miles. He's done the one that's followed you guys everywhere. So, I, I, I do mean... As, I do as many as I could. And I mean, obviously, there was a gap when Harry was born. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to some home games. We did have OLP for a little bit, but I'm I'm looking forward to being back in the city. And Mark, thanks again, not only for your time today, but for the kindness that you've shown everybody. And when I was in the office the other week and we were talking, mm. uh, thank you for the kindness you showed me. It meant a great deal. Mm. And um, on behalf of us, of the show, and everybody here, thank you so much for everything that you do, yeah. are doing, continue to do, and will do in the future. Yeah. Uh, people often say, people often say, 
you know, would Mark ever leave the club? And I'm like, only in a bag or a box. Ah. And, there was some, and there was some fun on Twitter last week when when Finnegan got the boot from Witness. Yeah. One of their fans came on and said, we should go after Mark Caston. Always does a brilliant job for Sheffield. And I just thought he wouldn't take the step down, love. Yeah. So, you know. I've got so, one uh, question. Uh, look, That's we've, it. Got, we've got a bit of... We've got, hello, we've got a... We've got a if you haven't got dreams, what have you got? Yeah. You know How what I mean? Many... And we've got dreams as a club. We've got a bit of um, a bit of a vision where we want to go uh, as a club. Yes, I've spoke like the dark days, but there's a new horizon. Uh, there's something very exciting happening with uh, lots of things around the club, um, the stadium, the World Cup, the women's, the wheelchair, the learning difficulties. There's going to be the physical and the girls. There's a girls' team now. Girls starting up. Yeah. There's going to be a centre of excellence for rugby. We're going to be the upper South Yorkshire for rugby again, which we was before when we had a scholarship and that. And there's a vision. You know, there's a vision behind in the, the, the boardroom. There is a vision. So um, that'll come evident over the, the next part of this journey. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done. I promised Don I would retire when I get to a certain age. Um, I'm not there yet, by the way. I might look it. Uh, but yeah, there'll be a time when um, somebody else hmm. will need to take the man on. <laughs> yeah, not yet, though. No, oh, not yet. I've got a few, a few more years in me, a few more grey hairs to come. Yeah. As long as I don't, if, I, if it starts dropping out, that's yeah. it. Then. Can I that's just good. ask that? I'm just going to. I'm watching you all. Right. Hold on a minute. Hey. Right. You look at I. I look at the greatest halfback club partnership. I look at Davil Powell, and I look at him complete silver fox head, everything like that, everything. And then I look at you, and the month, the stuff that you've gone through, no home nine years, everything you've gone through the last twenty five years, and look at you. And then you look at Powell, Absolutely. and then you look at Powell. It was like, all right, he lost the grand final, and wow, look at the difference. Hey, he's older than me, Dean. I remember. There's a couple of years on me. As the <laughs> oh. the power has got a couple of years on me. Listen, don't forget, before he went to Warrington, he, he got air like mine. Now he's at Warrington, he's chuffing gone. Yeah. The silver fox, he's taking over, he's taking over the Howard Cartwright mantle. You know what oh, I mean? God, yeah, old Howard. Do you know? Oh, Cartwright. Oh, happy days. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, yeah. Last question, if I can just permit. Um, I Is there any other? Earlier. No, there's that. Right. No. There's any others? You uh, know, hold on, seventy, eighty, because he oozes yeah. possibility yeah. to me. Oh, there we go. Say again, go on, Mark. No, I'm just going to say, any news on Batley away, which we never played because of the rain? Oh yes, that will be. Uh, we haven't made an announcement that. I think that's looking for the beginning of um, August. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It'll be midweek, beginning of August. Yeah. Probably yeah. potentially after the summer bash, I think. That's, that's, sort of that's the end of July, isn't it? So yeah, so it's, it, I think it's the yeah. first week of uh, that. That just needs to be ratified, confirmed by the RFL. Yeah. But I think that's the best opportunity for us to get it in. Yeah, can't wait for mm. summer bash. That's a great. That's only that's yeah, only a little really train ride for me. Yeah. It's great. Leeds, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah straight yeah. up from Peterborough, straight up is, to Leeds, is, no problem. Is there any more uh, questions? You no, mate. Need? That's it. I just want to say. I mean, I can't believe it's an now gone. Now has gone so quick. Um, thank Hello. you so, mate. Thank you so much. Um, for the last nine years, it's been well one one thing thing went after another. I mean, the days that we were nearly folding in 2016 into now, the stadium's mm. there. It's up. You've got your seat. You've got everything planned. We've got the bar. We've got food. There's everything. And uh, I'll just let I mean I say thank you from the hey, bottom I, of my I, heart. I wonder. I asked the question. Do I get a free pint on Monday after the game? Well, I came up with an idea to raise money for the club, and nobody's took, nobody's thought about it. It's called buy Tubby a pint. You know, when you buy a pint, pay some extra, and then that money goes to the club as well. So if when you pay when you bought two pints, you take one, but then the other one goes for the money for the club anyway. So it's mm -hmm. like that. So it could it, that's that way of double money and everything like that, and then you could get some more money for the club anyway. Oh, that'd be nice. I, I might, I might, I might have a couple on Monday after the game. I'll be there. I might. 
my year. Yeah, right. I, listen, I think I owe you one as well. I owe you I one. Know you do. I haven't forgot that, do you know? That was from 1985. Just now. So, hey, um, Powell still owes me a dinner from the school's school's coaching in Rotherham, actually. Good luck with that. You know, he was the tightest man in the in world. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know, there's a little thing for you to do as well when you're in Sheffield. You need to go into the... Um, I only saw it the other day. Somebody put it on that 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 memorial. Or yeah, yeah. Memorial, yeah. Memorial. Okay. Well, it's like, and, a, it's and, like a mural, I think they call. Mural. That's what yeah. I'm looking at. Yeah. I've seen it, but I've seen it on a. I think that's on a picture. Yeah. It looks class. Yeah, it looks mm. class. Yeah. Tasha's just asked in the chat room. She just says, "Can we just say any mascot name suggestions? Please get them in. I'm shortlisting on Friday." Marvin, I'm Marvin. saying Marvin. Marvin the Eagle. I think it'd be great. Marvin the Eagle. Marvin. Marvin. That's not happening for me, do you know? Oh, well, can't have oh, beans. No, I can't have beans and all like that. No, nah, just it's got to be some of this. We're appealing for kids anyway. So, oh, well, I just can't wait to see it as the next Eagle man. I just can't wait to see it. It needs to be something based around. The Steel City. Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. Mm. There you go. Stupid Very name. Funny. Katie Pete, that's stupid name, Marvin. I don't see you coming up with one, Miss Pete. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Pete, thank you very much. He wants to call it Anthony. Fact, facts. Oh. Hey, <laughs> think Martin Betts. Martin Betts. Oh, Martin Betts has just said, I think we should call it George. <laughs> Georgie. Georgie, Georgie no, well, but I'll let you go, mate, because I think okay. you've got it. I think you've got the busiest week ever. I had a few Tubby suggestions. Everybody's saying Tubby. Uh, oh, <laughs> nice with that. Right. Come on, so much. Super, to... super. I don't know. You I don't... know. Yeah. But, uh, thanks ever so much, mate, for tonight. I know you got the going to have the busiest week ever of anyone in this world. What gives you the biggest buzz? 1990 moving in Don Valley or 2023 moving into the OLP? Here and now, the most important time. Uh, you know, the, the things that happened in, in that time were great. You can't look back, you've got to look forward. So this one, um, it's, it's um, a part of it. And, and I think that, I think the fans will love this more because you're going to be part of it. You're going to be sat on top of the, on top of the ground, you know, not like the track round. So I think the buzz, the fans will get will please me more than anything. Well, I know I'm going to cry on that day. I know I'm going to be very emotional. If anybody wants to see me, I'll be with this thing. This I never get up. emotional, do you know, do I? People think I've got <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Radio Sheffield said you got emotional, but I can't. I don't know. But uh, I, I, I haven't listened to that yet, actually. But <laughs> and the kids did me, actually. Straight away, straight in with a knife, straight to the heart. Oh. You know, I, I said, you, you did that on purpose. Uh, I didn't. I said, I think you did. You know that would get me, and I can't talk yeah. then. You know what yeah. I'm like? <laughs> yeah. But, um, mate, thanks ever so much for everything you've done for the... Well, what can we say? Without the, without you, there's no Eagles. So it's simple as that. Um, I know this led beneath me. It feels exactly the same as I do. Uh, thank you very much for tonight, my man. Thank you. We'll no see you problem, chaps. See you uh, next uh, week. Great, and, uh, great, um... A great show next week. Be there or be square. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Take care, my man. Yeah. All right, boys. See you later. Take care. Bye bye. Take, Take care. care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care, bro. Can you do you want me to disconnect to remove? There we go. Yeah, remove him. There, there he goes. Uh, what, uh, a right. what, a joy. what a joy to talk to Toby at any time, you know. Well, that was a present to you, was everything as ever to everybody else. Um, Announcement is we're going to be on every night this week. We're going to, we've got tomorrow night. We've got Richard Hurd coming from the Heritage Project. He's coming on at 7 p.m. He's going to be talking all about the Heritage Project, everything about the Eagles and all the things, what he's bringing and all these suggestions. And I hope people have been showing him your favorite Eagles jersey, that you, things like that. I, I can't do it. I can't pick one. Well, I, I, I can I cannot pick one after 30 odd years. Really? Seriously? I mean, probably for that one actually. I actually love this shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That yeah. one or the uh, what's my other favourites? Mm. Oh god, I've got a few. Um, mm. 
2009, which I've got one. I'll debut on the show in a couple of weeks. But uh, I got a 2009 match one, and that's that. That was a good shirt. It don't look much, but on it was brilliant. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, else we want to talk about? Well, yeah, still like- uh, yeah. I've got, West I've got, Wales I've got, Raiders. I've got, I've got five minutes. I, I think I'm gonna have to do the bedtime yeah. thing, but I've got I've got five ten minutes. Right, West West Wales Raiders. Come on, oh, they won. What has happened? There? <laughs> I mean, We've been battering them for weeks and weeks, and they nilled Cornwall twenty well, nil. I, I, I don't understand it because I went to the Corn, I went to the Donny game against Cornwall, and while they lost, they at least looked competent and able, and you know all right and i thought west wales at home this is the first win it's a done deal and they've someone's not right there i want to i want to know what's gone on there yeah and can i just say mystic mark struck again because when we play crusaders what did you say crusaders a bit top of the table and who's top of the table Keith Lee are undefeated also, so, you know, but they yeah, are going keep, very well. Yeah, Keith Lee, keep going. I'm loving to do it, you know, it's always good. Expansion team winning something, so it's always good. Yeah, um, Keith Lee, keep going, because uh, as long as you keep happy in that, that, you don't need QLT. Come on, keep going, Phil. Keep yeah, going. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, uh, just a brief note on Warrensy coming out of retirement. I mean, I did say to him at, at extra time last year, give it a few months and you'll be bored. And he's yeah. like, no, nah, I've got a new, I've got a new life now and all that. And yeah, he's back playing for Russia. Yeah. And yeah. before you know, he'll probably end up signing for us again for the seventh time, or we've lost <laughs> count, have we? Yeah. Um, uh, last thing we can't. Next week we've got some ex Eagles coming back. We've got the uh, Matty Fozard and Aaron Brown. And all the ex Ollie Brown as well. Oh, Ollie, Ollie Davies. I think I think Ollie Davies, sorry. actually. Uh, but I think Ollie Davies will be playing. I'm sure Fozzie will be playing as well. Mm. Um, but it will be great to see them. Fozzie, of course, was through he played for us through the time when we had nothing. Wakefield, yeah. uh, what was it? Uh Bawtry Road. Yeah. Uh, and then where else did we play with Fozzie and all 2008? Fozzie played for us everywhere. So yeah. it would, in a way, it'd be kind of great for him to come back and see. Oh, this is where it is now. And you never know; yeah. he may end up back here one day. And then we've just had the announcement before it because Michael White put it in the group. London away is going to be at Ebb's Fleet United ground now. The Broncos where match. The video is that? Where the flaming hell is that? It's just going to be. It's like what? And if if if, if, if I mean I'm shocked because I was all looking forward to going to Wimbledon, but Ebb's Fleet, where the where the I had, a, I had a feeling it wasn't going to be at Wimbledon. I half expected it to be back at Ealing again, but I, I actually don't know where that is. I'm sure Senior will know. He's been to every football ground in the world. But, um, I, I mean, I'm staying in London until the Monday, so it's not a problem for me. But someone's coming back Sunday, I don't know. Um, I, where, where is it? Genuinely, where is it? I don't know. Uh, Andrew Morris is south of London anyway, so... Well, that's... Is I'm it actually sure. in London? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I'll have to have a look. I'll have, when, I, when we finish this, I'll have a quick look and everything and see if I can find it. Yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, um, as know. we said, um, this week, if you want to come on the show and talk about what this means, what, what Eagles means to you over the last nine years, this is the platform to do it. Please, please, please come on. I know Katie, Katie Peach says she's going to come on and talk about it and everything. I can't wait to hear with Katie and stuff like that. But we're on every night this week, 7 p.m. It's going to be, I don't know if Mr. Webster will be available every week, but I'm going to be here every night. I might struggle for the run to be honest. Yeah. It's, no, it's all right. Uh, it's know, totally but, all right. Yeah, I just thought it'd be a special yeah, week, yeah. so it'd be a special week. No, no, no for it, mate. I'll be watching anyway. Yeah. You know, I'll catch so, up uh, later. Everything's, everything's on YouTube now, so watch yeah. it at leisure. Yeah, we've yep. got you. We've reached double figures with the subscribers. We've got twelve subscribers now. It's like, fantastic. Share, subscribe, press the bell icon. Every video I watch on YouTube says that at the top. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll press put the bell up, icon. Um, tell your friends. Tell your mom. You know, and the, everything. Yeah. And the last thing is tonight. We've had more people watch this tonight than we've watched any other episode of Eagles Chat. We mm-hmm. had at one point over thirty-six people watching this stream. So that is amazing. Thank you very. Near Gr- Martin Brooks, here we go. Martin Brooks has just said Ebbs Fleet United is near Gravesend, I think. I'm still no near it. Yep. So after I, I don't, if it's got a railway station, I'm happy. But uh <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. But uh no, we've had record the records have been broken again for tonight. And everybody that's been watching us in the chat room and everything tonight, thank you yeah. so so much. I'm gonna let this gentleman go because he's got to get his little lad to bed and everything well, like that. 
he's he's fine. I'll just go and check on him and I'll do a story and whatnot. But um, he's yeah, yeah he's he's still don't go to bed very well. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's fine. He just don't go to bed very well. Yeah, I think um, I think at the end of the day, next Monday's going to be a celebration. I know people are going to be emotional, and I can get that. Mm. But it's we're back after all these troubles, after all these things of everything saying, oh, you're, you're not going to get, you're not going to be back and all this and saying, oh, you've got no ground, you've got no fans. We need everybody there next week. Let's fill the stadium. Let's show Premier Sports, everybody, Rugby League is alive and well in Sheffield. And it's just, and I'm going to, and I'm doing this too because I can't stand them because they've been so much negative towards us. I'm going to do it. Just to put this to Jewsbury and go, whap, there you go. That's all, that's from everybody at the Eagles. All that crap you've given us over the years, that's for you. Because, oh, it's just something about Jewsbury that winds me up. They hardly play at Old Trafford, do they? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, it's weird, them talk. They play at the bloody Wembley Stadium every week. So, anyway, mm. thanks ever so much to everybody for tonight, for the wonderful support you've given us and everything like that you've shown to us. We'll see you tomorrow with Mr. Richard Hurd from the Eagles Heritage Project, talking all about what's happening with the project and everything like that. Managed to persuade him to come on. So 7 o'clock tomorrow night, we'll have Richard on. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, who knows? Get everybody on. If you want to come on, we'll have an open night. You can talk about the Eagles as long as you want. So it's an open night. All we need is you. If you want to come on and say how much this place means to you, I'll, I'll let you speak as long as you want. All right? And I'll even put on a different shirt for each one of the episodes. All right. Uh, <laughs> I only put this one. Do you know, I'm going to tell you quickly before we finish. Somebody did, he says, uh, what do you mean 30 years? And I went, it's 30 years since we won Division 2. Is it? He didn't even remember it. He couldn't even remember it. Surely he would have played in that game, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, he played in Premiership Final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The famous purple away shirt, which is there. That's it. I'll tell you what game I was watching earlier uh, while walking home from work. Uh, the 46 apiece at Leeds is on YouTube in its entirety. So if you've never seen it, oh my Apple God. It's brilliant. Leeds, oh Leeds Rhino's official channel have actually put it on. Yeah. Um, and I've never seen it, especially that try in the last minute where somebody picks it up and puts it down from the penalty. Oh, well, I, I, that's, a, that's, a, that's another quality. Do you know, next week, I might put a post up and say, I need you guys to pick a shirt for me because I can't pick it. Um, I've got so many shirts I've got to pick out and what I'm wearing next week. I ain't got a clue. I know which one I'm wearing. I which one I'm wearing. It might, it's looking like the Super Joel one for me because I want to wear that, but I've got to bring a couple because I want Fax and Joel to sign me uh, purple jerseys. That's all. Yeah. yeah. And I might be buying another one as well because apparently there's some purple jerseys left. 50 quid each. Get yourself a bargain. 50 quid for an Eagles jersey. Yeah, there's some. Yeah. When, I, when I, I ended up getting two, I only went for one, but I ended up getting two. Thanks, Tubbs. <laughs> Um, so I think there is still some left. Um, yeah. Not sure who, but uh, there, there are some. There are some left. Yeah. yeah go and grab, well, go and grab a yeah. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys. See you guys tomorrow night, seven pm. But uh, thanks to this gentleman here, and many thanks to Mr. Sheffield Eagles himself, Mr. Mark Aston, for coming on. We've had a blast tonight. I've loved every minute of this. Real pal, it's been great. I had to do this for you. I had to get him on for you anyway. So thank you. Hey. <laughs> Take care, my mate. I'll see you next. No See you later, everyone. Take care, guys. Good night. God bless. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.